How we doing? Mark with Workaday Custom Gun Leather again, and today we got a little different project. I haven't had a lot of holsters. I've had a few, uh, but with the whole lockdown, no gun shows, that's where a lot of my sales come from. Still had some word of mouth, but most of the holsters I've made, uh, pretty much the standard fare, and we'll be doing some more of those in the future here. Um, but today, I'm going to be doing a, uh, a mag pouch, but not a typical mag pouch, 12 ounce double mag pouch. Uh, for uh, beverage cans. Uh, so whatever your favorite drink is, uh, get a double mag pouch for those and be able to have those with you. Today on the build, you're going to see I start out with a pattern. I already had a pattern made up. So we'll go with uh, uh, cutting that out and then uh, going on through the build. Uh, you'll see the piece of leather that I use that used to be a whole side of a domestic uh, cowhide that I got. The uh, supplier, I go to Weaver Leather, and typically I am able to pick out the side of leather uh, that I want. Uh, but lately, again, with the lockdown, I haven't been able to go to the warehouse. I've bought a couple sides. They've done pretty well for me, uh, but I've kind of held off on stocking up on that. So what you see today on the video is the remnants, the last little bit of a side of leather that I'm working through. Pretty good side of leather and pretty good to work with. You'll also see on the video that I start with uh, this pattern that I've made up. And on that, this particular build, the order uh, of assembly and the order that I stitch everything in, uh, fairly important that I can get to everything and still leave the uh, back channel open. So on that, you'll see I have one. This is the first stitch. On the back, I have the second stitch, right, these two here. And then I add the third stitch, and then the fourth on the end. The ease that you'll see on this pattern, uh, that puts the edges on. So these are stitched around uh, the edge uh, to shore up that edge and strengthen those. So if you have any questions on how that goes, I'll try to give some more instruction as we go throughout that. Uh, but uh, take a look. Feel free to subscribe. Like the video. If you have any questions, uh, put them in the comments down below. And we'll get to those and answer those as best we can uh, in the near future and uh, as you watch the video. So uh, enjoy the video. If you have any questions, let me know. And we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. Enjoy the video. Okay, again, here I do have a pattern uh, already made up. We'll trace that out. You'll see here as I trace this out, I kind of look at the back of the leather. I don't line the mag pouches typical mag pouches or these I don't line them uh, they move a little better when they're unlined so we'll go ahead and get that traced out get it cut out a lot of straight edges on this one so the cutting out goes pretty quick uh, a couple radiuses but for the most part steel rolling a utility knife and I get those cut out pretty good three pieces total on this two back pieces uh, that get stitched back to back and then the front pieces um, will go on there as well so get those cut out radiuses hole punch uh, for the radiuses on the inside there radiuses on the outside you'll see I get those here in a second uh, with the uh, utility blade modest dropping always sharpening up the blades checking the checking the pattern and then now putting the edges on all those exposed edges I'm gonna put a stitch on that besides making it look good that also strengthens those edges up and keeps it from stretching especially something uh, with a large expanse like going around a, uh, a can um, also it's gonna be wet cold uh, warm and then to keep that leather from stretching out that's what that stitching does it is decorative, but mostly the function of keeping that leather in shape. It's amazing how strong that does make the leather. It makes it almost unstretchable just putting one stitch uh, through that leather. So trim that out. Uh, get those uh, singed off on the ends. We'll start putting it together here shortly. Okay. 
again. Uh, put the front edges on. I don't uh, take the edges off of the back side of this piece of leather and just burnish up the front edge there. And at times I wish I did burnish it as fast as I do on these videos. but um, And you'll notice sometimes if you watch the videos, uh, sometimes I'll burnish a single edge three or four times throughout the process of building a holster or a mag pouch or anything else that I'm building. I want those edges to be nice and uh, nice and smooth. That's kind of what sets apart uh, the craftsmanship on the leather work. So here we are starting to put uh, the pieces together. That first back piece, I check the, uh, the pattern, see where the first stitch goes. You'll see here how the order really does play a part in how we do this. Now because this is a stress point on that stitch, you'll see that at the front and the back, and I'll do one on the others as well, I put a lock stitch at the top and the bottom of that. Now the second stitch, really just holding two pieces of leather together, the top part of those back panels. Really just holding those two back panels together on the top. Now at the bottom, where I bring the front around, and you'll see that later, I'm going to backstitch that whole uh, third stitch, that number three that you saw in the pattern. So wet those up, bend it over, get those back pieces put together, left side, right side, and then we'll move to the bottom. So here on the bottom, singeing off those uh, threads on the back, put the maker's mark on. Always got to put the maker's mark on. So I did that off camera, but you saw that there. So here we are putting the front pieces on. It's hard to see from the camera angle on this first one, but I'm going to backstitch the entire length of that stitch. It's not very long, only a couple inches. So I'll backstitch that. And then I'll turn around here on the other side and you'll see that a little better. Wet that up. I put the water on, makes that leather more pliable. And then I can get it bent around. And you'll see there's quite a bit of tension on that uh, as far as to hold it exactly in place um, until I get that going. I'll go across and come back. Backstitch the whole thing. That's going to hold uh, well forever. It's going to hold really well. Now we're going to get the side stitches put on, those number fours that you saw after I singe off uh, those. And it's not so much the tension of the leather here, but uh, it's just a tight fit in that corner on the edge of that mag pouch. So again, you won't see it as well here, but I put a lock stitch top and bottom on those because that is a stress point. The top and bottom of that stitch, and then this one, you'll see a little better how I do that. So, lock stitch, clear down the side, and lock stitch back. Trim those off. Singe them. So you'll see there on the ends and at the bottom, that leather is three layers thick. That's a lot to work out. So now even this one I wet molded. I got a little stick there that had a woodworking friend of mine make up. That's the size of the belts that I make. Inch and a half, double thick, rounded on the end. So I use that as a guide uh, to open up those tunnel loops that I have. So I got those molded up after they dry. Now I'm going to sand those edges. Uh, Again, three layers thick. Put a nice flat edge on those. The ones that are single layer, I've already edged those once. I'm gonna edge them again. So we take the edges, both sides of these, front and back, and just take those sharp corners off since we sanded them off. Take those sharp corners off, wet them up, and then burnish those edges. You can see on here just how shiny uh, those edges do get. As 
is going to be pretty sharp there. Good top, bottom, and then I'm going to come around even on those single edges here. And I'm going to burnish those again. That's the second time those have been burnished. And because it's not getting wet molded otherwise, well, it's already been molded. Uh, that's probably the last that those are going to get burnished before we move on to starting to finish everything up. So I take that wool dauber, I singe it, get all the hairs that are sticking out off of it, and then just work my way around uh, that mag pouch. All those exposed edges, all those edges I just burnished up, I want them to stay that way. So I'll put this edge dressing on. Uh, it's actually not a Thebing's edge coat, it's, uh, Weaver has their own proprietary uh, edge coat which I like comes out kind of a matte finish and works really well on those projects get an acid brush get those uh, tight spots in the middle there so here we are edged up we're ready to apply the dye this is a chocolate dye this has been really popular for me uh, lately a lot of customers have been asking for this chocolate dye it's a dark uh, brown chocolate finish this is pro dye if you get into leather work you're looking at different dyes you don't want leather dye uh, depending on what you're doing you want pro dye pro dye is an oil based pigment uh, has a lot more variation in the color than some of the regular leather dyes takes a couple coats you'll see me put one coat on here I actually came back later and touched up some of the areas as that soaks in uh, kind of becomes a uh, a working uh, piece as you try and uh, keep that even as you go on. The inside being unfinished, that absorbs a lot of uh, dye and finish. So I put a lot in there uh, just to darken that up and get it even. Hand rub some of that uh, helps to uh, get that dye to spread out evenly. Now a quick top coat and we're pretty much done. Uh, acrylic Resiline gives a nice sheen, protects the leather, and gives it that nice finish. So here we are at the end. There's the finished product. Let's see if we load them up here in a second. There we go. Snug fit, but uh, they go in and out uh, nice and easy. So there you go. The finished product fits on the belt. That's a nice tunnel loop that's been formed uh, right to the belt size. Uh, most standard belts will fit in there uh, pretty well. Holds it nice and snug. Keeps them close. And uh, nice finish. Real proud of how that turned out. Uh, glad with uh, the finish that we have on that. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to put them in the bottom. Uh, like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time uh, here at Workaday Custom Gun Leather. Uh, if you need anything, put it in the questions below. And we'll see you next time.